This is task 2, self-assessment of diet using the website eattracker.ca. You're going to assess what you eat and your activity level for a free web tool at eattracker.ca for one day and for some students it's going to be more than one day. You can either watch this video or you can follow the steps below. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the website eattracker.ca. You're going to have to go in and sign up. So if you go to the right hand side, sign up, they're going to ask you for an email address and your password. So now that I'm logged in, what we're going to do is we're going to first thing, we're going to enter my details. So you're going to go to the left hand side, click on my details, and you're going to enter your birthday um, and some other information. Next you're going to click submit. The next thing you're going to do is go to my BMI. What this does is the BMI stands for the body mass index and what it does is it gives you a range of based on society and you can see if you're in a healthy range and um, you know maybe you want to check and see maybe we're going to be able to see how we change our BMI. The next thing you're going to go to is at the top you're going to go to my food and here what you can do is you can input this is what you're going to be doing you're going to be inputting a certain type of food so I had some cashy granola for breakfast this morning and I can search it out and what happens is I have the cereal ready to eat and I had one cup and what I can do is I can add that to my breakfast and what you're gonna see is that we've it's come up in my breakfast and also you'll you'll have seen that some interesting numbers come up you will see that I ate 136 calories altogether one gram of fat four grams of protein and 32 grams of carbohydrates and you're gonna do this for a whole day so that you'll get to see an idea of how many calories you um, ate. Next you're going to be going up to my activities at the top. And what you can do is you can enter in what you did that day. So for example if you went swimming for an hour and you're going to search and this would be uh, swimming, moderate, continue, maybe you were just going leisurely. So duration I went for 60 minutes and I can add that and you'll see it came in and it turns out I burned 625 calories. Next you're going to be going to my eating feedback. So you go back to my food and my eating feedback. So you can look and see where you, what nutrients you, you had in your body. And this is what you're going to be copying pasting into your assignment. So if we go down to your assignment and we've got analysis of our food and you're going to be putting that graph right in your vitamins and minerals. If we just go back to the top you're going to be putting in some numbers for your fats, carbohydrates and proteins for a day. So for that one meal I had one gram of fat, I had 32 grams of carbohydrates and I had four grams of protein. Then I added up the total so I had 37 grams total altogether you'll have a bunch more then what you're going to do is you're going to calculate the percentages you add up so what we're going to do is we want to find the percentage of everything so we have for our fats we had one gram and we're going to put it over the total then for protein we had four grams and we're going to put it over the total and then finally we've got carbohydrates and we have 32 grams over 37 grams. You're going to get a decimal and then you're going to times it by a hundred to get it into a percent. Next you're going to go through and answer the questions based on those numbers. Alright, good luck, have a good day.